Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Cooking 101 everyone. Today is Saturday. Happy safe Saturday to all of you. Today we're going to cook two different types of dishes but I'm going to separate this one in two different videos. So the first thing that we're going to cook for today, I'm going to cook some ginataang manok. I'm really craving for this you guys. So the chicken that I'm going to use for today, uh, these are like chicken wings. Um, they are so huge, so I decided to cut them in half, like that. And the ingredients for my ginataang manok for today, of course, I have some chicken here. This is 2 kilo of chicken wings. I have one huge uh, red onions here. I have the lemongrass ginger and i have here three cloves of garlic chopped this one guys is my bell pepper this is a homegrown bell pepper uh, my mom grew this bell pepper here inside the house so if you want to see how this bell pepper looks like please visit my other channel chica corner with me and i made a vlog about this bell pepper over here i have one and a half tablespoon of the chicken nor seasoning mix. Of course, we have our coconut milk here. I'm using the Aroy D. And for the vegetables that I'm going to use for my ginataang chicken wings for today is the spinach. The other stuff that I'm going to cook is this one over here. It's asparagus and mushrooms with shrimps. But I'm going to do a separate video on that. So let's start cooking our ginataang chicken wings. Okay friends, we're going to cook our chicken wing in our beautiful wok. So let's start. I'm going to put 3 to 4 tablespoons of the cooking oil. And the type of cooking oil that I'm using for today is the 100% pure canola oil. You guys can use any kind of cooking oils you guys have available in your house. Okay friends, the first thing we're going to saute is the garlic. We'll wait for the garlic to turn into a golden color before we add our onions. If you guys prefer to saute the onions first, that wouldn't be a problem. It's still okay. Next, the onions. Let's mix. Next, we're going to add our ginger. now we're going to add our chicken wings. Okay, let's cover this for 15 minutes. We're going to let them simmer for 15 minutes and then I'll show you guys the next step. So let's cover them. Okay friends, after 15 minutes, let's check our chicken. Okay, let's let them simmer for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, let's check our chicken one more time. 
bad. That's good. These are huge chicken wings, you guys. Like, look at half of the wing. Look at this one. It's huge. Okay, now we're going to season it. We're going to add our homegrown bell peppers. Lemongrass. Two tablespoons of the Noir seasoning mix. Black pepper. And the coconut milk for now we're only going to use one can of coconut milk but if we need some more then I'm going to open the other one This is my dad's favorite dish, ginataan. So I guess one can of coconut milk is good enough. We don't want to uh, drown our chicken with too much coconut milk. Okay, let's let this one simmer for half an hour. Now that we added the coconut milk, we're going to lower the temperature of our stove. We cannot put our stove temperature too high when there is a coconut milk because we don't want to separate the oil and the milk, right? So we're going to lower our temperature to um, between um, medium and high. And let's cover this one up and we wait. Okay friends, after 45 minutes, I decided to keep my chicken um, boiled in a coconut milk a little bit longer. So this way um, the coconut will penetrate on our chicken wings. And um, it's 45 minutes but I keep turning them every 10 minutes and the temperature of my stove is very low as you guys can see over there see it's only in simmer so now let's go check our chicken wings okay let's open this one up Ooh, it's nice Before we add some salt on this dish, I'm going to try and taste uh, the um, the sauce first because, you know, when we guys add seasoning, sometimes or most of the times it has salt on it and I don't want my dish to be like salty. So let me try the sauce. Oh guys, it's good. I'm not going to add any salt on this one, okay? So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add our spinach. And as you guys can see, I cut my spinach because the stem is too long. And I don't want to throw the stem because that's the healthiest part. So I decided to cook the stem as well so 
So I'm just going to put it like that. I'll show you guys the finished product okay friends this is our finished product this is our ginataang chicken wings with spinach if you guys like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet you guys please don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching have a blessed day everyone wherever you are in the world and may the good Lord bless us all. Be safe, everyone. I hope you guys will try this recipe.